Hey everyone, this is Brad Wood and I am a consultant at Valientis, an Atlassian Platinum Solutions Partner. At Valientis, we provide a number of services and one of those is keeping you informed on updates in the Atlassian ecosystem. In this video, we'll look at some new comment visibility restriction options in Jira Service Management. We'll cover how to use this feature, discuss some configuration options, and also discuss some use cases for this enhancement. So with that, let's jump over to Jira Service Management. All right, so here we are in a test instance of Jira Service Management, and uh, we're just looking at a test ticket here. If you've worked in JSM at all, you know there are a couple of different comment types um, that you can put on a ticket. You can um, reply to customers, which we will not be covering in this video, and you can add an internal note. So if I click on add internal note, um, we see now there's a new lock icon down here. And if we click on the lock icon, we can see that um, there's some new options here for restricting the visibility of this comment. So by default, this is set to visible to all users or all agents in this case um, who have access to this ticket. But we see some other sections here. We see project roles and we see groups. And um, so we've got a couple of different options in each of these um, sections. One thing to note is that um, you will only see project roles or groups that you are actually a part of here um, to be able to restrict the visibility of this comment to that role or that group. And so since I am a part of these project roles and I'm also part of these groups, I can select any of these and then the uh, visibility of this comment would be restricted to that particular set of individuals. So let's talk about a couple different use cases. Um, let's say you're working on a ticket with sensitive HR information on it, for example, and you need to have a confidential discussion related to that ticket. You can add an internal comment and restrict that comment so that only that specific group um, who should be able to see that comment can view it. Um, in this case, we could select um, this HR managers group, and then the comment would um, not be visible to anyone who is not in that particular group. Um, another idea, uh, you can use this feature to cut down on noise for various roles or groups who might be collaborating on a ticket, let's say, um, and maybe they don't care about a particular conversation that's going back and forth and they don't want notifications, etc. cetera. Um, you can um, restrict that comment to, let's say, this developer's project role, for example, and then um, only the appropriate people will be able to view that conversation. So I'm going to select developers, and then I'll just put a test comment in here. Um, like I mentioned, if you have worked in JSM at all, um, you know that internal notes are um, highlighted in this sort of tan or peach color, and we see that here as well. But we also see another piece of information here, developers. And so that's letting us know that this comment is an internal note, and it was restricted just to the developer's uh, project role. Um, one thing to note, um, you do need to set the security level on each individual comment. So do be aware of that if you're replying to a secure comment, you're going to want to make sure to set that security level before you submit the comment. Also, another thing to note is that um, this feature is currently being rolled out. So you might not see it live in your instance um, at this time, but keep your eyes peeled and uh, it will be added in the near future. So that was just a quick look at the enhanced comment visibility restrictions in Jira Service Management. I hope you found this video informative, and if you have any questions on JSM or anything else Atlassian related, please feel free to reach out to me via email or LinkedIn, both of which will be included in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.